would you say characterizes in, in especially uh, successful travel writing, especially in an age when when local people are are, are connected to to uh, the World Wide Web and can comment upon and even write their own accounts of place? I would say it's the human element. It's if you can find out in a in a, in a travel book the human element, the um, the the human factor, the the flesh and blood of a place, anatomizing or, uh, or or describing the people who actually live in a place, what their lives are like, what their stories are like, what their past has been like, then if you can get at that, it, it's who lives in this place, not take Hong Kong. Uh, uh, I mean, you go to Hong Kong, it's, it's a, it seems like an impenetrable city, very vertical, very tall, very dense. I mean, it, it, it's one of the most uh, densely populated uh, cities on earth. <clears throat> so where do you begin? You would begin with the individual. It's um, through people's stories, the human factor. One of the great books about India is um, Naipaul uh, wrote three books about India, An Area of Darkness, A Wounded Civilization, and a book called A Million Mutinies. And The Million Mutinies is, is, is a, a very thick book where... Uh, Naipaul simply talks to people at length. He visits them. He visits them over a period of uh, weeks, sometimes months, and he writes down their stories. So it's it's a chain of voices, a chain of stories. I would say that's the successful thing. The one that interests me the least is the one where it's just about the traveler. Uh, nothing is achieved. Of I was here, this happened to me, that happened to me, this happened to me. I had a bad meal. I met a woman. I met a guy, we hooked up, I got on a bus, uh, I met some people, this happened and that happened. It's, it's a completely egotistical way of, of, of writing about a place. And that's actually um, one, of the, uh, one of the ways that um, uh, travel books get written. The only successful you know, or the, the only way that that's ever interesting is when the individual story, the person telling the story is uh, the subject of an ordeal. And when they, uh, of of a person being um, tested uh, through an ordeal, an adventure, something difficult, and succeeds at the end of it, uh, finds um, uh, finds his or her way home. There are plenty of books like that. Um, uh, you know, people been abandoned or the sunken ship. Um, or uh, lost in the wilderness, or you know, Wilfred Thesser, Wilfred Thesser wrote a, a great one about um, Arabia, Arabian sands, just how difficult it was to ride through it, the, all the awful things that happened. Well, that's forgivable then, but 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 someone, just an American, having a bad meal, and then going on and you know having a a, a, a phony ordeal, a fake ordeal. I, I, I describe this in. Um, in the Deep South book, a mock ordeal. Someone comes to America and starts talking about how dangerous it is in Chicago, or how um, I don't know, but the bad meals you get in the South, or whatever it is. I listed the uh, uh, the books. They're often written by English people. Eng the English people come to America and they write about a, um, you know how strange we are. It's like being on the moon, and you think, well, where has this person been? And, ha and has this person traveled much in England?